Thank you for joining us. This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase. I'm Sherry. Please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. So before we get started, I will share the quick disclaimer. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time and past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Many thanks to our sponsors for the June Live Trader Showcase, Market Taker Mentoring, Technitrader, and Money Mentor. Please go check them out at markettaker.com, technitrader.com, and moneymentor.com. Thank you again. I want to introduce Stephen Primo of Pro Trader Strategies. He has uh, been actively involved in trading the markets for over 47 years. His trading tenure began in 1977 when he was hired to work as a floor reporter or runner on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. Primo reached the pinnacle of his floor trading career when he became a stock exchange specialist for Donaldson, Lufkin, and Genray. Genray? As a specialist, he was responsible for making markets in over 50 stocks, a position he held for nine years. Primo left the stock exchange floor in 94 to focus on managing money and to teach his unique approach to trading the markets. Stephen Primo, along with Pro Trader Strategies, also co-developed and designed the PTS Primo charting platform. This innovative charting portal is different from most other trading platforms in that it has an emphasis on education and teaching traders how to trade. Many of the tools, techniques, and strategies available on the PTS Primo charts were accumulated from Stephen's days on the trading floor. Scores of students from beginner to advanced levels have gone on to become successful traders after being introduced to Primo's proprietary methods of trading. Stephen has also been featured in Stocks and Commodities, magazine and is a frequent contributor to many sites such as Trading Markets, FX Street, Forex Pros, Traders Conference, and Traders Expo. His strategies are now traded across the globe in over 108 countries on six different continents. So welcome, welcome to you, Stephen. Just over here. Good yes. morning. I'm going to make you the presenter so you can share your screen. Okay, there you go. Uh, should be able to see I, my screen now. Yes, sir. It's right there. Good deal. And thank you for joining us. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much for having me. And thanks to everyone attending today. This is going to be a great trader showcase. A lot of great speakers coming up later on. And uh, I also have a great presentation for you today where I'm going to be teaching you two things that you can do to immediately, and I mean immediately, improve your trading. These were things taught to me by my mentors over four decades ago, and I continue to use on a daily basis. They're really rooted and grounded in simplicity. In fact, you won't believe how simple they are. So no need to worry that you've got to calculate something or it's too over your head. These are really simple but powerful things you can start doing immediately to improve your trading. For example, let's take a look at this chart right here. This is a chart in GME. All right. This is a GameStop. We all know this has been in the news lately. A lot of traders have been uh, looking at it because of its wild volatility. It's a meme stock that uh, you know has a lot of big, big moves. But looking at this time, roughly it was just about three weeks ago, it appears as if the stock was doing nothing, right? Kind of directionless, just going sideways. So there really wasn't a lot based on just the face value that this stock wanted to do. But with the two edges I'm going to be teaching you today, just off this chart right here, just off this data, you would have known, firstly, from the first edge, that the overall trend was up. So even though it appeared to be going sideways, you would have known by this simple edge that the overall trend is up. And then by the second edge I'm going to be teaching you today, you would have known that the short-term trend is up. So when you have these two things in sync with each other, the overall and the short-term, you have a high probability for the market to want to go higher. And as we see later in the next two days, the market shot up 47 points. Now, obviously, this was based on some news announcement or what someone said over the Internet. But isn't it funny how we knew in advance 
that it wanted to go up just by what the market was telling us. So this is what I'm gonna be teaching you today. These are two things you can do to immediately improve your trading. So welcome once again, my name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And 15 years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies to formulate Specialist Trading with one goal in mind, and that was simply to educate traders around the world. And as Sherry just told you, we have students in over 108 countries and in virtually every state in the United States. Uh, I started trading 47 years ago. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, where as she said, I was on the floor for 16 years and nine of those years was a specialist. That's where you get the name specialist trading. If you don't know what a specialist is or does, because there aren't a lot of them around anymore, if you ever Google those pictures of the trading floor uh, back in the 30s and 40s with uh, all these uh, traders making these weird hand signals and those gentlemen behind those large wooden podiums were specialists. That simply means that they specialized in making markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So I did that during the crash of 87. I made markets in stocks like IBM, uh, Waste Management, US Air. Uh, I also traded through the bull market that followed and I left the floor in the mid 90s to manage money and to also trade my account. But as I just stated, 15 years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies and we developed specialist trading with one goal to simply educate traders. And you'll see that attention to detail in today's educational presentation. Now, before I begin, as always, we're required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results using these two edges, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And since we are first and foremost an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, another way to get education on a daily basis is to follow us on Twitter or X, however you'd like to call it. There's our handle right there at SPCLST. T-R-A-D-G, abbreviation for specialist trading. Uh, every day I post upwards of five or seven different snapshots of signals or uh, uh, techniques that have been generated using our methods. Uh, lots of great free information. I also post little bits of financial wisdom. So please feel free to follow us on Twitter on a daily basis. Now, as I stated earlier, we are first and foremost an educational company. So our goal is simply to educate traders around the world because it's our opinion and our philosophy that a good mentor, a good educator does not trade for you, but he teaches you how to trade. This is the same way I was taught some 47 years ago by my mentors, and this is the way I teach my students. So with that stated, let's begin. And I'd like to start out by something that uh, was said to be my, my mentors uh, some four decades ago. And believe it or not, even though I was on the trading floor and there was no such thing as the internet or high-speed computers at that time, there were no personal computers. Uh, you Virtually, if you wanted to trade, you had to watch TV or call your stockbroker. Uh, there was no uh, you know uh, day traders that were sitting in their home offices. Everything was simply done by the professionals or in, in the large banks. But at that time, even though I had access to this information, I was on the trading floor, I struggled tremendously. I was taught the exact same things that probably most of you have been taught, looking at support and resistance, uh, listening for all the news, for all of the uh, earnings reports to come out, waiting for the economic reports about the jobless claims. Uh, we didn't have uh, chat rooms or trading rooms then, but we had a lot of newsletters. So I subscribed to all the newsletters. And I did probably everything that you're doing right now. It was some four decades ago, and I still struggled tremendously. In fact, my first year or so, I couldn't make a dime. I was just basically trading water. So my mentors, who were specialists themselves, saw how much I was struggling. And here are the things that they actually said to me that turned my trading around in the beginning. So here's what I learned trading on the floor of the exchange. My mentor said, Steve, overthinking not your strategy, not your system, not the market, but overthinking is really what's killing your trading because the market tells you everything you need to know. Now at that time, if you would have looked at my computer screen, I had about 30 or 40 different indicators. As I said earlier, I was listening and following all the news, all the economic reports. I was in charge of making markets in about 50 or 60 stocks, so I had to know all the earnings estimates but I was overthinking everything. It was it really amazing how I could even make a decision because I had so much analysis going on. But my mentors taught me this concept that I'd never thought of before, no one had ever introduced to me, and they said, the market tells you everything you need to know. 
And I said, what do you mean by the market? And they said, simply the chart in front of you. That's the only thing you really have to focus on. There's no need to focus on news events. There's no need to focus on conventional wisdom, these things you've been taught. Just look at the market with a few simple tools. It tells you everything you need to know. And I thought that was ridiculous. And so for the first two or three months, I didn't listen to them. And I continued to tread water and to lose until ultimately I gave in. I said, okay, can you teach me how to listen to the market? And this is what I'm going to share with you. The first two things they taught me are what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And you'll see how simple they are. But in the examples I'll be sharing with you, you'll see how powerful they are as well. So let's go over these two edges, okay? Here's the first edge they taught me. If price of whatever you're trading, whatever market, whatever time frame is above the 50 period simple moving average, that means the overall trend is up. That's it. And conversely, if price is below the 50 period simple moving average, the market is telling you the overall trend is down. So why is this so important? Well, because we only want to be on the right side of the market of the overall trend. In other words, if the overall trend is up, we never want to sell short or go short anything. We never want to. Sure, we can sell to get out of a market to exit, but we never want to bet that the market will be going lower. And conversely, if price is below the 50 period moving average, we would never want to buy anything. I don't care how oversold you may think something is. I don't care how low it is. You never want to buy because the odds are not in your favor. You see, these are edges here and edges aren't 100% guaranteed to work 100% of the time. But what they are doing is giving you an edge. So over time, you'll be able to have a good, not only just a good month or a week, but a good decade of trading. Let me share with you what I mean here. Let's look at this generic chart. Now, it doesn't matter if this was a one minute chart of the E-mini futures or a monthly chart of uh, Tesla, it makes no difference. So the first thing you wanna do, even though you may appear there's no trend, is to apply the 50 period moving average. Then you ask yourself, where is price in relation to that 50 period moving average? Well, price is above. So what is the market telling you? Not me, not my analysis. What is the market saying? Market saying that the overall trend is up. This means if the overall trend is up, we're only gonna look at this from a buyer's perspective. We're never gonna to look to sell to go short. Now remember, you can always sell to exit a position, that's fine, to take a profit, but you never want to go short. That works the same way with this chart, all right? Once again, this could be a tick chart of uh, Apple, or it could be a weekly chart of crypto. It makes no difference. Someone looking at this would say, Steve, there's no trend, right? It goes down, goes back up, goes down. But if we apply the 50 period moving average, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that 50 period moving average? Price is below. So the market is telling you the overall trend is down. So what does this mean? This means that we will never be a buyer if price is below the 50 period moving average. We're only going to be a seller. And if we don't like to short stocks, then we'll just stay out of it. We'll just not even look at anything because we don't want to uh, be buying below the 50 period moving average. See how simple this is, but it automatically defines what side of the fence you should be on. Should you be a buyer or a seller? This is one of the main problems among students. They don't realize this. Should it be buying or selling here? This automatically tells you whether you should have a buyer's perspective or a seller's perspective. But remember, this is not a strategy or a setup or a signal. This just tells you which type of bias you should have, okay? So we know the overall trend. So now we know how simple it is to find that. In fact, if you don't think this is a powerful tool, go back and look at your last 10 or 20 trades. I can almost guarantee you that the reason why you had some losses was because you were buying below the 50 period moving average and selling above. You can go back and check right now and you'll see how powerful this is. Okay, so now we know edge number one. This brings us now to edge number two. And that is this. When a bar closes in the top 25% of its range, no matter what the time frame is, no matter what type of bar, the market, not me, not some guy in a chat room, the market is saying, I want to go higher, but on the short term. You see, we already determined the overall trend, but now we're determining the short term. Conversely, when a bar closes in the bottom 25% of its range, the market is saying, I want to go lower on the short term. Now, if you're confused a little bit by what I mean by top or bottom 25%, just take a look at this generic bar once again. Makes no difference what time frame, makes no difference what market, it's all the same. What you want to do is divide by four 
separate but equal parts. And if you close in that top quarter, that top 25%, and you are above the 50 period moving average, well, you have a high synergy for success because the market wants to go higher on the short term. Now, conversely, well, well, let's look at this chart first. I'm sorry, I jumped the gun here a little bit. This is the chart we were looking at earlier. We know that the overall trend is up because we are above the 50 period moving average. And we see here a bar that closes in the top 25%. And look what happened on the short term. It immediately went higher. Now, here's where students get confused. They say to themselves, yeah, but Steve, look what happened here. We went down really strongly here for one bar. That's true, but look what happened on the next bar. We closed in the top 25%. And then look what happened immediately after that. So sure, you could have said, well, Steve, I could have shorted here and look, I could have made really quick money. You're right, for one bar, and then you would have had to be very quick and get out because look what happened later. It was making you high. So it's much simpler to trade if you are in sync rather than trying to pick these quick short-term highs, okay? Now let's look at the other side of the coin. This is when a bar closes in the bottom 25% of its range. All you have to do is divide by four separate but equal parts. And if you close in that bottom 25% here, that bottom quarter, and you are below the 50 period moving average, well, once again, you have this high probability that the market wants to go lower on the short term. So as we look at this chart again, we are below the 50, so the overall trend is down. So we're only going to be a seller. And someone would say, but yes, yeah, Steve, I could have bought right here. And look, for three bars, I could have had a nice little profit here. Yes, but then look what happened. A bar closed in the bottom 25%, and it went straight down after that. So wouldn't it have been more uh, indicative of being a successful trader if you went with the overall flow instead of trying to take these quick little bites and hopefully you get out in time before it goes and makes much lower lows, okay? So these are the two edges that you can start applying right now. You can apply them to your own strategy, whatever you're trading. You don't even have to change anything. You can just add them onto your own strategy. Or a lot of our students like to devise strategies based on this, okay? We have a number of strategies that incorporate these two edges. But I'm gonna share with you a tool right now, an actual technique that you can start applying as early as today using these two edges. So this is a trading technique. It makes no difference if you're an intraday trader, makes no difference if you're a swing trader, makes no difference if you're an investor. This trading technique transfers onto all markets, all time frames, and all directions, okay? All right, so let's show you how this works. Let's look at this chart here in HPQ, okay? All right, so it's kind of heading up higher a little bit. It's slowly but surely heading up higher. By the way, this was just uh, about three or four weeks ago, okay? But the first thing we wanna do is apply the 50 period moving average. That's the first thing you always do with any market, with any chart. And we see here that initially price was below the 50, so the overall trend was up. But once we've, I mean, I'm sorry, was down, excuse me. But once we apply the 50 period moving average, the second part of this technique is we want to find bars either closing in the top 25% or the bottom 25%, but here's the one rule. They have to be either intersecting the 50 period moving average or touching it or extremely close to it. Now, all you need is one, but the more the better, but all you need is really one. So let's find out how simple it is. Now on our platform, this is the PTS Primo charting platform, in the upper left hand here, we have top bottom 25%. So we make it simple for you. You don't have to look at every bar and divide it by four parts with your hand calculator. All you have to do is click on top bottom right here and it automatically does the work for you. And we see right here, we had two bars with the, with the up arrows here that were either touching or intersecting the 50 period moving average. All right, so that meets the requirements of this technique, but what is it telling you? Well, it's telling you that there's a high probability that you're gonna have a strong up move very soon. That's it. There's no need to look at news. There's no need to look at what the economic uh, forecasts were. There's no need to look at what the earnings were. All you need to do is see what the market is telling you. So the market's telling us now that there's a high probability it wants to go higher, and look what happened in the following days. The stock took off. Isn't that funny? The market tells you just about everything you need to know. Okay, so that's this technique. It's that simple, but that powerful. So let's look at some more recent technique examples. And most of these happen within the last month. Some of these you'll see what happened in the last week, okay? 
And remember, everything you're seeing today is being displayed on the PTS Primo charting platform. I developed this platform with Pro Trader Strategies that actually is designed to teach traders how to trade. Most of the things you find on our platform, you won't find anywhere else on any of the major platforms because these are all things, techniques and methods I've taken from my years on the floor and things I've accumulated in my 47 years of trading. Okay, so let's look at this chart in PATH, all right? Someone looking at this would say, hey, Steve, I took that uh, class on support and resistance and there's a major, major base going on right here. So I think I should probably buy this based on that base. There's probably a lot of buyers there, right? This is the way most traders make their decisions based off faulty information and worn out traditional wisdom. What is the market telling us? All right, first thing we want to do is apply the 50 period moving average. And it's telling us that it's kind of oscillating above, below, above, below. But if we're going to be using and applying this technique, all we want to find out is if bars are closing in the top or bottom 25% and are intersecting this 50 period moving average. So we click on top, bottom on our platform and it automatically does the work for us. And we see here that we have one, two, three, four bars that are either touching, intersecting or very close to that 50 period moving average. So what's this telling us? It's telling us there's a high probability, there's a big chance that this stock is going to head lower within the upcoming days. And look what happened. Now, obviously some news came out where the stock fell out of bed right here. Isn't it funny how we knew well in advance that the market was telling us it wanted to go lower? Let's look at this example that we started off the presentation with in GME, GameStop. Remember, we looked at the chart and it looked like it was directionless market. It was not doing anything, kind of going sideways, right? This is why most people feel like they missed the boat because they say, gosh, the stock wasn't doing anything and all of a sudden it took off. How did I know? Well, with this technique, you'll have a good chance of knowing because the first thing we want to do is apply the 50 period moving average. And we see initially the overall trend was down. But then right here, the overall trend is up. So we know that we're only going to be a buyer right off the bat. This was a month ago. We knew that if we were going to be doing anything in GME, that we were going to be doing it from a buyer's perspective. Okay. And now we want to find a bar that intersected or was very close to that 50 period moving average. So we click on the top bottom 25% and it automatically does the work for us. And so look at the first week of May, we had two signs here that the market wanted to head up strongly. And then later on in the month, it shot up 47 points. Now see, most traders like to take the victim attitude. I know I did when I first started trading. It's like, gosh, I missed it. How, how do I know? It's always the smart money that knows ahead of me. I don't have that information available, okay? Well, you don't need it when you learn how to listen to the market. If you can listen to the market, the market tells you mostly, most of the time in advance of a big move, okay? And someone could say, but how did you know this? That was all done by some uh, announcement made over the internet. Remember, the market tells you just about everything you need to know in advance. Here's another example in Dash, D-A-S-H, okay? This was uh, just about a month ago. Now, one of my students said when I was sharing this chart with them, they said, well, Steve, I you know, took that $10,000 class on the institutions where they tell you that you know, the institutions are the big money. So they know everything. So I always want to go with the institutions. And so uh, this course taught me how to identify where the institutions were buying or selling. And uh, that's what I see here. There's institutional support. So I want to be a buyer, right? That's what the market's telling them. Well, firstly, remember, I made markets on the floor. This may, meant that I traded with all the major brokerage houses, all the big banks. And out of all the people that entered orders in my book, the institutions had the worst track record of anyone that I ever traded with. Sure, they would enter orders in my book for a million shares, two million shares, and I had to, to market and follow them. And they were almost always wrong. So I would never, my personal opinion, I would never put my faith in what the institutions were doing. Okay? So I would rather listen to the market. First thing I do is apply the 50 period moving average. And I see that the majority of the bars are now or have been below the 50. But I want to see which ones close in the top or bottom 25%. So I simply click it on on our platform. And I see now that I have a number that closed in the top bottom 25%, a total of four. Now, one closed above, but one, two, three closed below. So in this case, whenever you see a confluence here, what you want to do is, is take the majority. And so the majority is three to one that 
uh, there were bars closing below. So that's my sign. The market was telling me it wants to go lower. And look what happened the next day. It fell out of bed 20 points. So what happened to the institutional support? Okay. Remember, you would do much better listening to the market than listening to an outside source. I know what that's like. I, I did that 47 years ago and it couldn't make me a dime then. So why would you think that it's miraculously going to turn around and change? I, I learned and was uh, you know, taught the exact same things that probably most of you were taught. And it's been estimated that 80 to 85% of all traders fail. So obviously these things that were taught really don't work. It's much simpler as you've just seen right here and it'll be highly more uh, consistent if you follow what the market tells you. All right, here's an example in BURL. Price was below the 50, but then we're just starting to intersect and cross above. We had the top bottom 25% bars and we see that we have one, two here. So nothing has happened. We've gone sideways, but the market is telling me, it's giving me a signal it wants to go higher where no one else can see it. And look what happened. It gapped up 45 points the very next day. Once again, most likely based on some news event. But how do we know before the news? Since I don't even follow news, I stopped looking at news over four decades ago. So why did we know? Because the market told us it wanted to go higher. This was just uh, roughly about two weeks ago. Here's an example on ILMN. We apply the 50 period moving average. We apply the top bottom 25% bars again. And even though nothing as much happened, we've kind of gone lower to sideways. We have more down closing bars than we have up closing bars with the top bottom 25%. So this is telling me that it wants to go lower. And look what happened. 35 points coming into last week. Now here's a perfect example of how powerful the 50 period moving average is. Price since the beginning of April has been below the 50 period moving average. Now in that time, we had a couple of nice little bounces here. One, two, and actually three bounces. But look what happened after that. Days later, the stock was making lower lows. So even though a trader could say, yeah, but Steve, I could have bought here and made money on this bounce, could have bought here and made money on this bounce, same thing here, sure. But you would have had to been very quick and you couldn't have held on for a long time and wouldn't have been a lot more simple and a lot easier to trade just simply using these as selling opportunities as opposed to buying opportunities. This is what we mean by being in sync with the overall trend. <clears throat> Here's another example of Moderna, okay? This was coming into last month. Price is above the 50 period moving average. All the bars are above, so the overall trend is up. We're only gonna be looking at this from a buyer's perspective. And then once we apply the top bottom 25% bar tool, we see that we have one bar that totally intersected and we have two that are very close. So this is a sign it wanted to go higher. This was at the beginning of May, a month ago, 65 points coming into roughly last week. Now, someone looking at this chart in Workday, this was just a couple of weeks ago, would say, well, Steve, we're in an uptrend. How can I sell this? I mean, I want to be a buyer, right? This is the definition of an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows. But if we apply the 50 period moving average, sure, it's an uptrend or a bounce in an overall down market because we're below the 50. So this is not to be looked at from a buyer's perspective. This is a selling opportunity. So we wait to see if we have the requirements met for this technique, and yes, we do. We have a bar that closes in the bottom 25% and it's intersecting the 50 period moving average. So this is telling us not to be buying, not to get sucked into this little rally, but to use it to sell. And look what happened. Two days later, the stock gapped down and days later, it was down 55 points. So what would have happened if you would have bought here thinking that, hey, this is an uptrend. And then when some news event or something happened, it gapped down. Well, pretty much likely you would have held on to your position and said, well, I'm just hoping and praying so I can get out of even, right? That's what traders do. They just turn into long-term investors. This is what we mean by Sure, every once in a while, you'll get a nice little bounce that is below the 50 period moving average. But if you hold on too long, you'll most likely give it all back. Here's an example in KAI. All right, price is below the 50 period moving average, but right here we have two bars closing above it and they're closing in the top 25%. In fact, they're closing at the very high. So this is a sign that the market wanted to go higher and look what happened, 85 points in the next month. 
All right, let's look at CRM, all right? This is Salesforce. Once again, the stock is slowly drifting higher, but if we apply this technique, we see that we had one, two, three, four bars closing in the bottom 25%. Now, even though the stock hasn't done anything yet, it is screaming. It's not just telling you I wanna go lower, it is screaming I want to go lower. Please, if you're long, exit. And if you're more aggressive, buy some puts. Go short the stock because I want to go lower. Look what happened. 72 points coming into last week. Okay. This is how powerful this tool is. It's so, it's so simple to apply these edges. Now, we've all seen NVIDIA how it's just gone straight up. We can look in hindsight and say, yeah, look at this. This has gone straight up. This is a snapshot. It's actually even higher than when I took this snapshot last week. Someone could say, yeah, this is just going straight up. But Boy, how would I have known that in advance? Well, if you use a simple technique, you would have seen that we had a total of four different top bottom 25% bars. The first one closed lower, but then you had one, two, three closing higher. So remember, we always go with the majority. So three or more than one. So that means we're a buyer. And we would have known in the beginning of May to go long and you could have potentially captured 275 points. Let's look at EPAM. Okay, same thing. Looking in hindsight, the trader would say, gosh, you know, I bought this stock and that my broker or that guy on TV said it was going to go higher. It was making a bottom and it continued to go lower. And now I'm in this for the long haul. I'm just trying to get some of my money back. Well, if you apply this simple technique I shared with you, first of all, you would have known right here that once we're below the 50 period moving average, you shouldn't be in this stock at all. But if you wanted to actually trade it, well, guess what? We had one bar here, which is more than enough to tell us to get out and to go short. It wanted to go lower. And that was our tune here that we would have gotten in and potentially captured 115 points or at least saved 115 points if we were along the stock. Once again, simplicity is the cornerstone to consistency. <clears throat> now, let's look at an entirely different market. If you have uh, any Forex traders out there, here's the Euro British pound, a four hour chart of this uh, currency pair. All right. Don't have much idea here. looks like it's going lower, but maybe that guy in that chat room says we've made some type of a bottom. If we apply this technique, we see though that we are below the 50 now and we have two bars closing in the bottom 25% that are either intersecting or very close to the 50 period moving average. So this is more than enough to tell us that this is going lower. It's not making some type of a bottom. You should not be buying this. And in the next week, it fell 100 pips or $1,000 potentially per unit. So that's a four hour chart. Let's go to a weekly chart of Costco. Let's go through the entire process. Let's say we were looking at this chart over a year ago. This was in 2023 because these are weekly bars. And you were interested in this, but you look at it and you say, well, kind of doing nothing. It's kind of just going sideways in a range market, right? So I'll wait for a little bit more action to do something because. Uh, you know, this is kind of boring and I don't want to be stuck in a stock that's going to do nothing for the next year. This is for the long haul. So maybe you forget about this and look at something else. But if you applied this technique to weekly bars, you would have seen here, you applied the 50 period first. And sure, we were below the 50 right here. But at this point, all the bars closed, just with the exception of one, closed above the 50. So even though it looks like you're in a range, the overall trend is up and you want to be a buyer of this. Now, if we apply the top bottom 25% bars, all you have to do is click on this on our platform and it automatically will show you the ones closest to or touching and in intersecting the 50 period moving average. And guess what? We had one, two, three, four, five bars closing in the top 25% and touching the 50. Once again, this indicator and this uh, technique is not only telling you I wanted to go higher, it's screaming, I want to go higher. And look what happened. Coming into this last month, over a year later, the stock was up 320 points. Once again, the powerful things that I have found in my 47 years are often the most simplest. That's why we don't use them, because we feel like there's no way they could work. They're too simple. But these are the things that actually work, not the convoluted, very overcomplicated way of trading. Remember, I overtraded everything and it couldn't make me a dime. It wasn't until I simplified my trading that I started to become consistent. All right, so let's recap. 
Remember what my mentors taught me. Overthinking is what's killing your trading. Are you overthinking everything? Are you, uh, you, if you look at your screen right now, do you have tons of indicators? Most of them you have no idea what they're based on. Are you uh, subscribing or uh, to every blog there is on the internet? Or are you following too many trading rooms or chat rooms? Are you waiting with bated breath for every earnings report to come out or every uh, economic report to come out? That's what I did 47 years ago and it didn't work for me. So why do you think it's gonna start working now? The market tells you everything you need to know. Here is a simple, very powerful, but simple technique that just showed you if once you learn how to listen to the market, it's a lot easier and you can kind of let go of all this stuff that hasn't worked. It's really simple to be in sync with the market. You just have to learn how to listen to it. So ask yourself, do you think these two edges, which I just taught you, can help your trading for the remainder of 2024? They're yours free. You just got them. You can start experimenting with them today, right now, as soon as we conclude this. It's up to you. What if you would like to use a lot more edges? What if I could give you five, 10 more edges, completely different from what I just taught you, but ways in which to learn how to listen to the market? Well, you're in luck because I have a special offer today which will give you many more edges. This is called our Secrets of a Stock Specialist video seminar, okay? This is a three hour uh, video that was actually a recording of a uh, presentation I gave uh, years ago at a conference in Colorado. I was the, the head speaker there and they recorded the three hours in which I spoke. And during my presentation, <clears throat> excuse me, I gave many more high probability trading edges, different from the ones I just shared with you today. I also talked about which indicators that you should not be using. As most traders like to focus on the ones they should be using, I talk about the ones you should not be using. I go into the difference between a system versus a strategy. I talk about the number one chart pattern you should have in any strategy that you're trading with, how to be on the right side of the markets, how to trade in any market, in any time frame. But here was the most important thing included in that three hour video seminar. I gave all of the complete rules, the entry rules, the exit rules, the stop placement rules to one of our most premier and consistent pullback strategies. That's strategy number one, okay? Completely different from what I just shared with you today. What I shared with you today was a trading technique. And it, uh, today, if you notice, I didn't tell you where to enter. I didn't tell you where to exit or where to place your stop or any money management rules. Well, that's because it's a technique. A technique simply highlights a high probability entry point. But what a strategy does, it comes complete with all these rules. And you know exactly where you should be entering, exiting, and placing your stop. Let me share with you some ex ideas and, and some examples and show with you how simple it is to trade strategy number one. Now, as I said earlier, strategy number one is a pullback method. A pullback method likes to buy at these lower levels within an uptrend. So we see here in this older uh, example, ARMS uh, or HS, excuse me, that the trend is up, obviously. So a pullback trader wants to buy at these lower levels within the trend. This is the most opportune place to buy, right? Well, let me share with you how simple it is once again on our platform. Even though we teach you all the rules, this is not a black box system, this is an actual uh, rule-based strategy. We have the platform here to check your work to see if you properly identified a buy setup. And so on our platform, you would simply click on strategy number one right here on the right side, and you'd see the signals automatically appear so that you could see if you were properly identifying them based on the rules we teach you. And look at where they were identified, right at the very lows of these sell-offs the most opportune place to buy because they completely uh, got you in and look what happened, the market went up after that. Now here was the last buy signal that was generated and look what happened two days later, gapped up higher. Now this can work to the downside as well. Here it looks as if we have kind of a sideways to kind of directionless market in BIIB, Biogen. But if we applied strategy number one to this, click it on, we see that it generated a sell signal right here. And someone can say, well, how can that be a sell signal? It looks like it's going up. Well, three or four days later, the stock fell out of bed 25 points. Now, once again, let's look at a, a, another example, this time again in, in NVIDIA. We see here that a couple months ago in February, obviously we had a nice strong uptrend. It was going very uh, strong to the upside, but then it looked like it hit some type of resistance right here. A lot of traders that I talked to said, hey, Steve, you know, it looks like some resistance. This is once again where the banks are selling. They think it's gonna go much lower, it's topped out. Time to take your profits, and if you're more aggressive, time to go short. 
And for a couple of days, it appeared as if they were right. But look what strategy number one did. On our platform, it was as simple as clicking that on, and it generated a buy signal right at the low of that two or three day sell off. And where everyone else was getting out, you were getting in and potentially could have captured 250 points in the next two weeks. So you'll get all the complete rules, how to trade it, where to enter, where to exit, where to place your stop for strategy number one, okay? This is all included along with 47 years of tips and techniques that I've accumulated to help you trade, to take your trading to the next level. Now, usually the entire sessions plus a strategy number one course costs close to 997, or costs close to $1,000 at $997, okay? Trust me, we're not gonna offer you at that price today. As our association with the Live Trader Showcase today, we are going to discount that tremendously. But for a limited limited time only, this is going to be discounted to $37. I mean, think of it. You're getting close to 50 years of information, things I've accumulated for less than you can probably go out to breakfast or lunch these days. $37. But this is for a limited time only. So please take advantage of this. If you like the information I gave you today, well, you'll love what's included in this three-hour course, okay? So this is really a great, great way to take your trading to the next level, a great way for you to get uh, uh, to know us and to see that we're really, uh, really devoted to educating you and to making you a better trader. This uh, price, $9.97, is, is actually offered on the website, but for a limited time only, you can get that for $37. Guess what? We're also going to throw in an extra bonus. If you decide to become a student of mine and a member of the Secret Stock Exchange course, well, along with your purchase of the Secrets course, we will include a 50% discount on any other product we sell. Think of it. Any other strategy, any other technique, any other of the things that I've accumulated. So you can really have a great, great discount with that included. 50% off anything. Trust me. You owe it to yourself to take your trading to the next level. Take advantage of this. If you've been struggling, if your trading is nowhere near where you thought it would be at the beginning of this year, don't worry. Remember, it's been estimated that 80 to 85 percent of all traders fail. My first year or two on the floor of the stock exchange, I was failing. I couldn't make ends meet. I was basically trading water, but doing the same things that you have been taught. Take your trading to the next level, okay? You owe it to yourself to learn these things that sustain my trading for 47 years, and hopefully they can do the same for you. Here's how to take advantage of it. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're my sister site. They're in charge of all the pricing, the discounts, as well as the tech support. Uh, they're very flexible. They'd be very happy to uh, give you a quote on any other method or technique that you can get 50% off. But the best thing is just to give them a call at 310-598-6600. 77. They have trading consultants manning the phones. They would be more than happy to take your order over the phone or answer any question concerning uh, uh, any of the other methods or strategies we have that you can get a 50% discount off of, okay? Now, that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to this offer. Uh, it's not a live link, though. I don't know if Sherry's going to post that on the chat box uh, for us or if it already is posted, but uh, you can copy and paste that onto a browser if you'd like. I'm going to leave all this up here so you can copy that if you'd like. But uh, I said I would take questions at the end. So uh, if you do have questions, now is the time. I don't know, Sheriff, if you want me to answer them or if you're going to read them off. Uh, I don't see a question. Um, I'm just going to jump on there in just one second there, oh, Stephen. Sure. <clears throat> sure. Yeah, and, and also remember, once again, this course I'll is advertised for close to $1,000, so it's a fantastic discount. All right, it is definitely. All right, I'm going to put your link up. Oh, thank um, you very much. IQ said, what platform do I need for this? Well, remember, what I taught you today, you can use on virtually any platform. It doesn't matter. It, uh, but if you want the simplicity of one click and having it all done for you, one click for the 50 period moving average, one click for the top bottom, that is the uh, PTS Primo charting platform. And you can contact Pro Trader Strategies and they can talk to you about giving you a great discount on that as well. Cool. All right. You guys have any other questions for Stephen? And I did post in the chat to everyone the protraderstrategies.com forward slash secrets offer. So you guys can get a hold of that. I'll go ahead and put the trading 
Yeah, well, uh, Sherry, one thing I would like to mention if, if people don't have questions yet, but this is a question, probably the most common question I get in my, uh, in my own uh, student webinars is that they say, well, what if I have trouble? What if I don't understand a concept that I haven't been trading long enough or I don't understand this? Our methods and techniques are extremely simple, but sure, we want to be there with you every step of the way. So every student will get my personal email address. And so if whenever you have a question or you just want someone to check your work, uh, you can always email me. A lot of students email, email me before the opening, during trading hours, or even after the uh, close. And even more students email me during the weekends. Whenever you'd like, and the, the emails come directly to me. They don't go to an assistant. They don't go to a, a salesperson. They come directly to me. So no one else will be seeing your emails other than me. So there's, it's the next best thing to having me sit next to you, okay? I, I'd love to, to be able to sit next to all of our students. I just can't do that. If they're trading it all over the world, but uh, this is the next best thing, okay? Perfect. All right, so I got two more questions from IQ. Um, and I don't really understand this one, but the arrow prints if both a touch and a close happens? Yes, so in other words, what you're looking for in that top bottom 25% is if it closes in the top bottom 25%, it will generate an arrow, okay? Now, you'll be able just to see off site if it's touching or intersecting that 50 period moving average. So that'll be up to you, but you saw how simple it was. So what you wanna do is find the bars with the arrows and then see if any of them are uh, consecutively touching or close to the 50 period moving average. It's that easy. Very cool. And um, I think I heard you say this, doesn't, doesn't matter on the timeframes, but he wants to know, does this work on smaller timeframes? Yes, it does. I use it I, because of my background trading on the floor. You know, I used to be in and out of trades in like two or three minutes because we were trading thousands of times a day. So my background is intraday trading. So I use this for intraday trading on all, all of the methods, all markets, um, particularly the e-mini futures. I like to trade the e-mini futures. So it makes no difference. But the one thing I do tell all students is that no matter what strategy method you're trading it could be one of mine someone else's something that you've developed it makes no difference but the smaller time frame you go to it's going to be more uh uh applicable to uh this noise or this kind of type of whipsaw that's just the nature of smaller time frames so you have to be aware of that that's all mm -hmm. and pepe wants to know does this work on ftse 100 yeah, it doesn't matter what market. It makes absolutely no difference what market or what time frame, because you know the 50 period moving average doesn't know if it's uh, marketing, you know, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a foreign market or if it's doing crypto. It makes no difference. It's just a it's just a moving average, and the top bottom 25% don't know if it's a uh, you know a uh, currency pair or if it's uh, Google. It makes no difference. Yeah. Awesome. You don't have uh, you don't have a way to show the arrows that show up, do you? Uh, yeah, that, that's what we have on the platform. That's on the PTS Primo charting platform. You simply click on that top bottom 25% tab, and it automatically shows you which ones. But I mean, like this is it's proprietary, so you're not showing it in your presentation, right? The platform itself. Oh no, no, no. The platform is something extra, but uh, because of um, you know the yeah. great offer i'm sure they can get a really good deal with pro trader strategies okay yeah well i just wanted to i i just kind of was curious to see what it looked like that's all yeah so, no uh, i'm sorry i don't have access to it right it's just um uh I, in fact i closed it down to start this presentation <laughs> okay I, I believe it it probably takes a little bit of resources right um, yeah, but, but it's it's extremely simple. And like I said, most of the information and things you'll find on our platform, you won't find anywhere else because there's things I've accumulated uh, from mainly being on the floor. Uh, you right. won't find them on any of the major platforms. Okay. How many other strategies do you offer? We actually have a total of 10 strategies altogether. But, uh, you know, and but they all are designed for different environments, for different things, because we know not all traders like to trade the same way. Uh, for example, a lot of strategies are designed for uh, traders that are called continuation traders. These are traders that want a lot of action, a lot of signals, and so these are designed to buy higher and higher as the market's moving up or to sell short lower and lower because you're in sync with the trend. And then on top of that, you may have what's called pullback traders. That's the strategy we're giving away included in this offer. 
that's where traders who don't mind waiting for these low high probability areas to enter before the trend takes off in their direction. So there's lots of different ways to trade. We also have trending filters, trend directional tools, lots of great things. Once again, you won't find anywhere else because I learned them myself on the trading floor. Can you send me the link? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pepe, we put the link in the chat. Yeah. Um, can you see the chat boxes, Pepe? So we'll put the link up there. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give him the link on his own chat right there so he can see it. And as I said, um, Pro Trader Strategies is in charge. Uh, our, our companies are, are are designed two ways. I'm in charge of all the teaching and the trading, and Pro Trader Strategies is in charge of all the tech support and pricing and discounting. So they're very flexible. They'd be willing to work with you if you're interested in the platform and uh, if you purchase the uh, the uh, secrets offer, which we have today for uh, thirty-seven dollars, uh, they'd be more than give you a great discount. Yeah, I mean thirty-seven dollars. Come on. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, think of going out to lunch today for two people. It's it's not going to be anything not, less even, not even two people, just one person. Right, I mean, exactly. goodness gracious. And yeah. here you're getting almost five decades of information I've accumulated. And and a yeah. lot of students always ask, well, does this like expire? Does it like uh, disintegrate after a couple of weeks? No, it's yours to keep forever. It's it's a video that you can resource whenever you like. Sweet. Excellent. All right. Let me just see here move this over any other questions folks i did put the link uh i answered peppy's question but i also made it send to all so you should have it in maybe two places i'm i'm un unfortunately i'm not a, a total expert on go to webinar so i'm not really sure what the user experience is i've only ever used go to webinar as a host so <laughs> unfortunately well, i know exactly what they see if worse comes to worse they can just call that number and and don't worry there's no obligation uh you know you can just ask questions and uh, they can send you information you know uh that way but they don't have to worry about being sold something that they're, they're very flexible and they're willing and to work with you yeah uh, you know that is one of the hallmarks so the folks who talk on the live trader showcases is it's not like um hard sell we want it to be educational and we want every offer to be very soft and very wonderful. And everybody uh, is very, very conscious of that. So we try to make it so that it's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, that's why in all yeah. my presentations, I always want to give something away for free, like this technique I share with everyone, just to show you in good faith that we really are an educational company where that's our, that's our main uh, goal to educate you. Right. All right. Anybody else have a question for Stephen before he makes his way off the stage? We have six minutes left, um, and I, if I, we hardly ever get done early, <laughs> I'm usually running a few minutes late. So this is wonderful, and um, I know that you gave a, a great presentation as always. We appreciate you coming. Thank um, you. So if you guys don't have any other questions, we're going to let uh, Stephen have a couple minutes to himself before he's got to do his next thing. <laughs> right. Thank you. I just appreciate. Thank you, Sherry, for giving me the opportunity to speak. And uh, thanks, everyone, for attending today. Many thanks to our sponsors for the June Live Trader Showcase, Market Taker Mentoring, Technitrader, and Money Mentor. Please go check them out at markettaker.com, technitrader.com, and moneymentor.com. Thank you again.